In the problems in question six, we can use some technology to help us find the zeros and then use synthetic division to find the other zeros. So the first thing I did is I put that in Desmos and I found through the use of our Desmos technology that there is a crossing of the x-axis. So there is a zero to this function at a negative seven. We're going to use that zero to take this third degree polynomial and depress it to a second degree polynomial and find the other zeros from there. So with that in mind, we're going to go to work and we're going to divide by a negative seven. We're going to divide that into the coefficients of one, seven, four, and 28. So I'm going to drop down the 1, and 1 times negative 7 is a negative 7. Negative 7 and 7 is 0. Negative 7 times 0 is 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. Negative 7 times 4 is a negative 28. We get a remainder of 0. Now with that remainder of 0, we have just depressed a third degree polynomial into a second degree polynomial. And the second degree polynomial that we have left is just an x squared plus 4. I want to set this factor equal to 0 so that I can solve it for the zeros. In this one, when we do not have a linear factor, so we just have an x squared, it's possible to isolate the x squared is equal to negative 4, which means x is equal to plus or minus the square root of a negative 4. And that, we have learned, is plus or minus 2i. So there's our two truly complex or pure imaginary roots. We had one real root at our negative 7 that we have here. So all in all, we found the three roots. So just to list them, we would have the, the zeros of a negative 7 and a plus or minus 2i.